here we go. So you asked, what is cortices? Cortices is a technique from ancient yoga, 2,000, 3,000 years old, whatever, where we start tapping on the head very gently to integrate both hemispheres of the brain. Okay, the gurus that would lie on the bed of nails or that would put themselves into weird, you know, contortions and things, they always start by tapping this way because then your uh, intellect and your intuition were working together. Now, in body talk, we took that and we started aligning it with the heart brain, not just the head brain, and the belly brain. So when we do that, the the progress we've made doesn't go backwards, okay? So it takes your brain out of stress, it modulates the body so that the body has no, the stress response gets lowered and lowered and lowered the more you do it. Uh, we can do it with hydration to get the cells to absorb water, we can do it with body chemistry, and that's how I look for allergies and diseases, uh, COVID viruses, whatever, okay? But right now I will teach you here, I don't need these on, I don't need to look at myself, um, we will, show you how to do the cortices. Now, I like to start with my hands like this, rubbing together. It just gets me out of my head and I feel the, the tactileness of this, but it also opens up all my chakras, okay? And you have chakras within chakras, within your fingertips, within your palms, absolutely everywhere. So you just rub and you breathe. Now, the big thing about this is all breathing as well. So when your hands feel sufficiently energized, if you wanna put it that way, um, or tingly, or warm, you put one hand behind your head. So I'll turn around and show you. Where the brain head here meets the neck, you just hold that. We call that the occiput, okay? It's also where your optic nerve is. It's where your C1, C2 are. There's a number of different things that go on here, including the vagus nerve, which goes around the neck, down across the heart and into the belly. So you're just gonna hold that. When we hold that, you're building a bridge from one hemisphere to the other. If you ask the question, oh, which hand do I use? You're back in your head. So just put one hand here. It doesn't matter which hand you use, okay? You're building a bridge from one side to the other, okay? That's all you need to know. You're going to tap on the top of your head as you inhale and exhale. Now, you're not tapping down the center. You're not tapping on one side or the other side. You're tapping on both sides at the same time. However, that's comfortable for you. I sometimes I do it like this. I just go around and around in circles or back and forth. But we we do it so that both brains are activated, woken up, and synergistically starting to work together. Okay. You do this for two or three deep breaths. And then you tap on the heart for two or three deep breaths. You're still holding the same position. And then you tap on the belly brain. Okay. This is also your womb center, your creative center. And we don't just create babies, we create businesses and relationships and health and all kinds of stuff. When you finish the three positions, three or four deep breaths at each, you're going to move your hand to the next position. So what we're eventually going to be doing is covering all aspects of the brain to the prefrontal cortex, tapping. Now, when we tap like this, we create a soliton wave that moves the atoms of things so that they can reposition themselves differently. And instead of being locked in stress, they start flowing again. So the communicate, this is great before studying or um, after studying, before an exam, after exam, before an interview, after an interview, when you're pissed off at your kids, when you're pissed off at your ex, when you're pissed off at the news, this takes you from this high stress response back down to your equilibrium. Okay, so this is position two. We're going to start breathing. And when you exhale, go and breathe again. Inhale all the way down into your genitals or wherever you're sitting on the chair or whatever. And just let the exhale come past your vocal cords, like humming when you were a kid. This strums the body, humming, music. Um, can create lots of healing, okay? When you're ready, you tap on your chest, you inhale and exhale. Eyes open or closed, it makes no difference. Tapping on the belly again, big deep breaths. Most people don't belly breathe, so start belly breathing. 
It brings more oxygen to the cells. And when your body is oxygenated, you cannot get cancer or viruses or bacteria or anything like that. Okay. You're going to move your hand to the next position here like that. And again, you're going to tap and breathe. Inhale. Just relax your jaw and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. It takes me longer to explain this than for you to do it. Okay? And then you belly tap. When you're ready, you bring your hand to the prefrontal cortex. This is where we do all our spin thinking, our logic, trying to linearize everything. Just hold it and breathe. And again, tap. And again, breathe. And exhale. And again, breathe. Your head might start chattering at you. Just let it. Tap on your heart. This opens up your pericardium. It opens up your lungs. It allows the body to go into different endorphins and hormones that relax you. And then you tap on your belly. You know, kind of like the big Italian men used to tap on their bellies when they were full after dinner. I used to see that. Just tap. You're just letting your three brains, because you have three brains. You have an enteric brain that formed when the sperm and ovum came together. It created your entire central nervous system, all of your organs, all of the nerves supply to these organs. And four months later, you created a heart. So this is also brain. This is the brain that makes you enthusiastic. What you want to do, what you want to see. I want to go skydiving. I want to try this. I want to try that. Your belly brain is the one that is more grounded and can check your surroundings and say, now is not the time or wait. Or yeah, let's do it. Everything's fine. Your head brain tries to figure out what other people want you to do or what you've done in the past and extrapolate the future according to that. That's, that's not going to help us here. All right. Then you take your hands and you've got a bony ridge here on your thumb and one over here on the other side of your wrist, which fit exactly with the eyebrow ridge and the cheekbone ridge. So you're going to fit this like, a, like a, a plug going into an outlet and just wrap it around above your ear. That is your limbic center. That is where you see things coming at you, where your intuition notices everything around you. You're going to do it to the other side. Just hold and breathe. And when you're ready, you're going to take one hand and tap the top of your head. Tap on your chest and tap on your belly and breathe. Each spot, as much as you need until you feel you're shifting, put it back, do the other side and tap again. We like everything to be balanced. That is courtesies. Okay.